Innovation, I think, is critical to ocean science and engineering because it is such a vast ecosystem. Most of it is unexplored, and we need people to help us learn how to best find out what's in the ocean. GoBGC, the Global Ocean Biogeochemistry Array, is, is going to deploy 500 robotic floats throughout the world ocean kept with chemical, biological sensors. It's going to take the vital signs of the ocean. So the floats have sensors for things like oxygen, carbon dioxide, plankton, biomass, and they send that data through satellites. It's available in real time. Then these floats will make the measurements that tell us what the baseline metabolism of the ocean is. So students today, as part of the MAKE competition, are building a simplified version of this, a vertical profiling float uh, that is being deployed in the world ocean. We've got 30 teams here from the Central Coast and San Francisco Bay Area, and they are all competing, they're showcasing their innovations. This year, we challenged them. We, we highlighted the UN Decade of the Ocean. We are trying to inspire ESG, environmental social governance, for folks to think about how their actions and their choices impact our, our global world, our ocean planet. The remotely operated vehicle has to take a float out in the pool, deposit it through the surface of the water, and then once the float gets to the bottom, it has to do hopefully two vertical profiles to get the full number of points. One of the things that I really find fascinating about this competition is that there are no directions. There's no step-by-step, step, this is how you build anything. And so when we look at the floats today, we see a variety of different types of techniques that the students are using to make the floats go up and down. Beyond inspiring uh, many of the, of the students that go through these programs and go on to become technologists that, that build the next generation of these devices. What I'd like students to get out of this is an appreciation for the difficulties that ocean science and engineering face. Things fail. Things flood. Sometimes things don't work the way you want. And being able to troubleshoot and power through those problems is something that really can't be taught in a classroom. It's allowing us to expand our offerings to these students. So we're exposing them to a brand new technology. And it's not just the float itself. They're starting to understand and appreciate all of the sensor technologies that go into those floats. So it'll be a layered approach. And each year, we'll continue to increase the challenge when it comes to GoBGC. I think the more people we entrain in this type of experience, the better, because to really protect and understand the ocean and to protect and understand Earth, our planet, we need all hands on deck. And the more people we get involved, the better off we're going to be. Yay!